Hey there Rhetorians, welcome to another free cards by email video. My name is Readers and today we're going to open amazing packs from the one and only Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster Shot. So first of all, I am a little bit sick so you have to deal with my a little bit strange voice. Secondly, Yu-Gi-Oh! Monster Shot is very very close, very close to reaching 1000 subscribers. He's about He's around 940 something subscribers, so we as a collective, as a Rhetorians community can help him do that by following the link in the card above me or and in the link in the description below. So, I'm going to show you what he donated this time, which is amazing, sorry, it is amazing in my opinion. First of all, he donated a Shining Legends Elite Trainer Box Ho-Oh. So perhaps he purchased this and it contained quite a few packs as well, but I'm gonna show you I'm super excited about those stuff uh, I'm not really sure How to write? Oh, it's not in the avatar you stupid read Taurus Ho oh that is a deck box and It should have sleeves as well Strange yeah, there is the sleeves so we have deck box and sleeves with Ho -Oh on and on them, amazing uh, add in to the collection. Uh, it's always awesome to have a legendary Pokemon on your sleeves. Also, that contained a Ho Oh signing Ho Oh. There it is, a signing Ho Oh uh, Pokemon card, which I assume it should be. It is hollow. It's not looking that hollow in the uh, actual TCG, but it is in uh, real life and also in the t TCG. It has 130 HP, fire type, fire type Pokemon, ability Golden Wing. It matches perfectly with the artwork and the entire theme of signing ho -Oh. So it does, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and it is knocked out by chance, by, pff, by chance, ooh, great mechanism, you should import this to the game, like chance is I don't know, a bad coin flip on a burn or something. Uh, <laughs> by damage from an opponent's attack, move up to two basic cards from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. So it preserves the energy that it has. That reminds me very, very much of a, a Phoenix, of a Phoenix, which is amazing. And with four energy, this is quite a lot, but with blacksmiths and stuff like that, it is doable. You do a fire blast, 110 damage, discard energy from this Pokemon. You wouldn't mind, whenever there is a discard one energy, I don't mind as much as when it is disc discard two energy cards, because discarding two energy cards means that it, you may or may not be able to attach a double colorless or a, I don't know, a um, blacksmith next turn to repeat the... Uh, the, the move, the attack. When you have just only one energy, you can preserve it every single turn, and that's good. The bad thing is weakness to light, lighting, and this is quite sad. It's a bird, so it it is normal, and it also has resistance to fighting, which is amazing. Most birds have, and this is great. So that was uh, with the trainer box, I assume, and the best part is that we get to open 10 of those signing legends booster packs and this is the thing that I am mostly excited about because as I, I assume that I have not seen it in the shop I assume that, the, that this is a product that you can only get in Pokemon DCG online with the code cards that you get from the actual booster packs it's something similar to evolutions um, I think or at least with the double crisis, X and Y double crisis, such uh, sets which are tiny, small ones, 73 cards I believe for this one, but they have amazing pull, amazing cards. So let's get into opening the cards, I'm sorry for rambling for so freaking much. I'm slicing my very first ever Signing Legends booster pack and I'm hoping for the best pulls. I found out that this set has a uh, few uh, new to DXs and stuff and I'm so freaking excited to pull them because I'm, I'm probably not gonna have any other chance to do that unless you donate few cards, my friends, few code cards. So we have Fire Type Energy, Litten, Larvesta, Voltorb, uh, Breloom, Purloin, what is that, Incineroar, ooh, quite cool artwork there. Sophocles, uh, Super Scoop Up, Reverse of the Carvin, Carvinine, Carnivine, alright, and the first GX, could it be a GX? I would flip out. It is, no, it's just a Raikou though, wow, 
It's a, it's a whole rare, 128p, booming thunder, 30 damage, attach a lightning type energy card from the discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon, not bad at all for 30 damage, and a basic Pokemon, very 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 aggressive, as most of the times the lightning type Pokemon are very aggressive, surprisingly resistance to uh, metal, I think that usually it's the opposite, right? I think that usually it has weakness to metal, or no, 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 resistance to metal and weakness to uh, fighting, yeah, that, that's that's normal, uh, that's okay. Uh, with 3 energy, electric ball, 90 damage. I'm not that excited about this 90 damage, but the booming thunder and the preparation of the bands, I like that. Good, the artwork is amazing and the holo pattern is even crazier. Great, great card right there. Moving on, second pack out of 10, we have quite a few, that is gonna be amazing, ooh! Wow, that's a holo. Ah, oh, also the the uh, elite trainer box contained five or six, five, I believe, five energy cards from each uh, energy type. But this is not holo. So you get holo energy cards at random inside the pack. That's awesome. So a psychic, and they are full art. All the energy cards are full art. Whatever. Uh, energy, lightning type, uh, stunfish. Ooh, that's my favorite stunfish. No. Uh, stunfish, Pikachu. Cool artwork with a rainbow there. Bulbasaur. I love to see first generation basic Pokemon. Ekans. Breloom, Lipard, Pokemon Catcher. Cool card. Golurk. And the rare is a. Ooh, and Veltal with uh, a holo again. All the rares are holo. Could be. It could be 120 damage, darkness type Pokemon with 2 energy strafe, strafe, 30 damage, you may switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Uh, why would you? Okay, okay, acceptable. End Oblivion, Wing, 90 damage, attach a darkness type uh, energy card from your discard pile to your bench Pokemon, to one of your bench Pokemon. So this Oblivion Wing, I believe, was in another, in this, alright, an improved Oblivion Wing. So instead of one energy, and 30 damage and the same ability, it is 3 energy, 90 damage and the same ability. I think that this is more playable, believe it or not. I think that this is more aggressive, this is more, uh, uh, yeah, this is more damaging but still controlish. Both cards are aggressive and controlish. So I would, now if I had to play 4 Reveltals, I would play 2 of these and 2 of these, in my opinion. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below, because I'm freaking interested about this. Uh, it really, really got, uh, it, it really is amazing in my mind. Alright, uh, Darkness Type Energy, Crocono, Litten again, Bulbasaur, we have a Golet, a Larvesta, Arbok, cool, Carnivine, Carni yeah, Carnivine, Ultra Ball, Wrap Energy, Reverse Holo, first, first time ever, this card provides uh, color energy. When you attach this card from your hand to your active Pokemon, switch that Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So it is a, a switch and a colorless energy at the same time. Quite interesting card. Very, very interesting card. Yeah. And the rare, it is a... Ooh, Shining Arceus. It is holo. It is rare. Or no. It doesn't have the rare symbol. What's wrong? Doesn't have the rare symbol, so I don't know what to assume. It should be quite exciting. I don't know. 130 HP, colorless type Pokemon ability, fabled defense. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. So that's a good. Uh, how is it called? Uh, like a good wall for your uh, bent, very very nice, interesting, and with 4 energy, that is quite a lot and has no basic damage. Ultimate Arrow, this attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Like 30 damage, okay, it can seriously damage, but I doubt that it can really knock out. But you could, you could play something like a, um, a Pokemon in general that transfer the damage counters from one side to the other and you could deal quite serious damage that way but I'm not that impressed not that impressed not that it's not good but uh, you know quite a lot of energy for relatively not very 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 threatening attacks fighting type energy Litten, Larvesta, Quillfish, Shroomish, uh, Purloin again, How, Sweets, Carnivine 
We have a Rap Energy again. I would really love a full playset of this. And the rare is a Latios. I think that this is the first time that I've ever seen a Latios Darkness type. No, there are more. Many more. That is quite of an interesting twist in my mind now. We also have colorless Latios. But anyways, this specific one, it's a re it's a whole rare again. I believe that everybody, every card, are, every card is a whole rare now. 110 HP, a darkness type Pokemon, psychic type Pokemon with 300 Z breakthrough. Interesting to have the name of a set. 30 damage, this attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bent Pokemon. That is more sustainable than the previous card that we reviewed and with 3 energy 70 damage it is a meh okay card i wouldn't really really trust this latios on a deck but the artwork and everything are amazing all right so we have a dark uh, psychic psychic type energy zorua um, a plasma uh, torco evisor cool so do we have a a, a venusaur as well toro cat spirit tomb Super Scoop Up Trainer, Energy Retrieval, Reverse Call, the rare card of a Verizon, Vi 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 I don't know, 110 damage, 110 HP, with 1 energy, Raft in Wind, 30 damage, you may attach a basic energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, that is more interesting, that is very, 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 very aggressive card. And with 300 energy pike, 90 damage, this attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bent Pokemon. This is an awesome card, in my opinion, this is a very great aggressive card. I would really, really trust this in a very aggressive grass-type Pokemon. So I, I see a lot of playability in this card, in my opinion. What do you think? And the rare, it's a holo rare again. I think that everything is holo. 130 damage, lightning-type Pokemon with... Oh, a Zekrom. Yeah, a typical Zekrom with two outrage, 20 damage. This attack does 10 more damage for its damage counter on this Pokemon. And with three energy, Storm Blade, 130 damage, discard two energy cards from this Pokemon. I believe that this is the very, very classic electric-type Zekrom that we have, that we see... There you go. No. No, it's different. It just has the outrage same. What about this? No, it's different. It's different and it's different. So it just has the outrage same and the other ability is uh, instead of dealing damage to itself, it discards energy, but dealing damage to itself makes a lot more sense to this card because it increases the outrage. But anyway, still a relatively good card, especially 130 damage means it can knock out itself and I like cards that it can knock out themselves, meaning that they can knock out the opponent mirror deck. All right, we have a darkness type now. Energy, Ekans, Zorua, Chrono, Croconau, basically. Pikachu, Stunfish, Pokemon Catcher, Golurk, a Volcarona, a Reverse Pikachu, and the rare, it is a Resiram. So we've pulled basically Shining Legends. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. We are pulling all the time legendary Pokemon and it makes quite a lot of sense because every rare is holo and every rare is legendary. And that makes a lot of sense why this set is not available, at least not yet, in Pokemon DCG Online because it's very easy to get cards in Pokemon DCG Online. So anyways, Reshiram, 130 HP, Fire-type Pokemon, Outrage, same as... Um, uh, what was it? The, the previous card, uh, Zekrom, and with 3 energy, Scorching Breath, 130 damage, this attack, a Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. Well, in this situation, I'm not that uh, annoyed by this one, basically, because I'm fine to Scorch Earth, uh, Scorching Breath, for 130 damage, and if you don't want to attack me in order not to increase my Outrage, it is fine for me to wait for a turn until I Scorching Breath you again. So I find value to this card and I like it and I'm gonna move on because I've wasted quite a lot of time. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoy those long booster pack opening videos because I don't usually, uh, you know, spend so much time on the cards. Uh, metal type energy, Torkoal, Todotile, Jinx. Jinx is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I prefer the first generation forms of it, uh, looks of it. Pikachu, Buizel, How, Rap Energy, non reverse, that's cool. Flood Zell, Reverse Color, rare card of a Zekrom, we just reviewed that before. Interesting to have it in reverse as well. And D Rare is a Hoopa. 
Another legendary Pokemon, it should be Hollow, and it is Hollow. 120 damage abilities, Kundrel Guard, prevent all uh, effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your Pokemon opponents, Pokemon GX or Pokemon EX. So, this is a Pokemon EX, Pokemon GX wall. And many, many decks play only Pokemon GXs slash EXs. So, this is a good card to have as a, a response to all of this. You can instantly win the game with an empty bench and only this guy in the active spot. And with 3 energy, uh, super uh, Psy Bolt, 80 damage. You don't care about how much damage this guy does as long as you can stall the game forever if your opponent doesn't have any other way. So I'm pretty sure that I've seen this exact same abilities in another Hoopa. And I'm uh, falsely sure. So perhaps I've seen it in a, an opponent's deck and I wondered where they found it and now I know. So very very good pull, I think that this is very 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 playable, so it's good to have it, I'm gonna use it definitely. Thank you, Yu-Gi-Oh Monster for those awesome cards. Have a Venusaur, it, it's not a rare, that is amazing, we're gonna review that. A water type Energy, Quilfish, Minun, Plazo, Zorua, Shroomish, Carnivine again, Switch, Venusaur. 106 <laughs> that is sick 160 HP uncommon card I'm not sure if there is any other like it but this is definitely the first time ever in my life that I see a 130 160 HP uh, uncommon card this is the first time ever so ability jungle totem uh, it's basic grass tape uh, energy attached to your Pokemon provides double energy you can apply more than one juggle totem ability at a time. Ah, oh, you can't! You can't apply! So, this solar beam, 90 damage, requires only two grass type energy. Can you freaking believe that? That is amazing! Fantastic ramp, you can have it on your bench, and it is just a beast. I mean, they cannot really easily snipe it. This should not be an uncommon, this should be a rare. I want to. I want a full playset of this guy, even though I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna play two, one or two in a, a normal deck, but I'm building a deck with this, definitely. Super Scuba Trainer, could, I, could we get a GX finally? It is, no, it's a Palkia Holo, 130 damage, water type Pokemon with 2 energy, Spiral Drain, 30 damage, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon, that is okay, and with 3 energy, Agua Blade, 100 damage, plain damage, nothing more, nothing less. I'm a little bit disappointed for a legendary legendary Pokemon to be so weak, but I'm going to accept it, I don't think that this is one of the best, but it's okay, we have two more packs, this one and one more, so I need one GX, I would love a uh, Mewtwo GX, but we'll see, we have a Metal type Energy, Ekans, Zorua, Crona, Croconaw, Pikachu, Stunfish, Lipard, Pokemon Catcher, Golurk, Reverse, uh, Double Colorless Energy, and the rare it is, no, it's just another Latios, which I'm not really excited about, and last pack, but not least, please, a Pokemon GX, please, let's finish this off awesomely, ooh, Double Arbok, funny pull right there, have uh, Darkness Type Energy, Stunfist, Ivysaur, Litten, Tototile, Bulbasaur, Arbok, Incineroar, Sophocles, Arbok again, Intimidating pattern, as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's active Pokemon's attack do 30 less damage, that is a lot, a lot less, and with 3 energy, 70 damage, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned, that is quite cool, and the last rare, please, a GX, it is, no, it's a Mars Shadow, 70 damage, ability, let loose, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto the bench, during your turn, you may have each player shuffle their hands into their decks and draw four cards. So, it, let loose, it's the same ability as Judge, but it's not a supporter. Uh, that's cool, in my opinion, especially if your opponent has a huge hand, you can spring it down to four cards immediately, or you can save your uh, day, let's put it that way, if you have a very, very bad hand. And with two energy, Shadow Punch, 30 damage, this attack isn't affected by resistance. So in my opinion, this is a supporter card, this is an extra judge uh, without the disadvantage of playing a supporter. And the whole pattern is just freaking, freaking mental. So that was it. Unfortunately, no Mewtwo EXs. And since I wasted quite a lot of time, why not waste a little bit more, right? <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, let's waste just a little bit more and uh, look for the GXs that this set has uh, Really quick So it has... Mm, it's not that set It's that set And uh, not owned 
All right, it has quite a few, but I'm mostly interested about, ooh, this Zoroark should be great, but I'm mostly, ooh, Pikachu GX, mostly interesting uh, on the, all right, ooh, that is perhaps the most amazing, new to GX, 198 HP, this attack does 30 damage times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon, I love that type of new to attacks, uh, full burst, awesome name as well, super absorption, 60 damage, kill 30 damage from this Pokemon with 2 energy, I accept that, it's amazing, and with 3 energy, size strike GX, 200 freaking damage, this attack's damage isn't affected by any effect on your opponent's active Pokemon, so it is perhaps a guaranteed knockout, perhaps a guaranteed knockout, amazing, amazing Pokemon. Let's quickly review the Pikachu as well because it looks great. Pikachu GX 210! It cannot get knocked out by Mewtwo. Mewtwo cannot knock out this one with one hit. Awesome! With 2 energy, powerful uh, spark, 20 energy, this attack does 20 more en damage. Times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon, that's cool. But uh, kinda weak. Thunder uh, 160 damage does 30 damage to itself, and Voltail GX 120 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Uh, so perhaps you paralyze it and then kill it, kill it with uh, Thunder. So not exactly what I would expect from a awesome Pikachu, but uh, it should be playable uh, uh, nevertheless. So I'm not gonna. Sorry, I'm not gonna review the rest. You can check them by yourself in Pokemon DCG Online. You can see all the cards, no matter if you have them or not. Thank you so very much for uh, the free cards by email, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Master. I really, really appreciate it. Once again, please check out the channel of this guy in the description below, as well as in the card above me. He really deserves a subscribe. He's so freaking close to 1,000 subscribers, as I mentioned before. He has supported the channel so many times, like more than 20, I believe. And I really, really, really appreciate everything that he does for me and the channel. Now, if you want to donate your own cards or code cards, you can do that by following, by uh, sending me a message in any of my social media that you can find down below. Like two days ago, a guy on uh, actually Tristan 000k on Instagram shared, uh, sent me 24 freaking code cards that I'm going to read. To, I have already redeemed, and I'm going to open in the next free cards by email. So if you want to do that. You can find my links in the description below, it really helps the channel, we still have not pulled this Tapu Lele, so... Do you have any Tapu Leles? If you do, please give me one, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you so very much for watching this video, please check out your screen right now, you will see quite a few other videos that may or may not interest you. If yes, click any and uh, continue watching, if no, that's perfectly fine, watch something else that you enjoy on YouTube, but don't forget to click that subscribe button to find me on my next video. Until then, take very very good care of yourself, Rhetorians, and I'm gonna see you 